Knowledge is power, but knowledge about yourself is self-empowerment. Start your day with the simple question, what is the greatest ideal of myself that I can be today? We've in fact conditioned ourselves to believe all sorts of things that aren't necessarily true, and many of these things are having a negative impact on our health and happiness. The privilege of being a human being is that we can make a thought seem more real than anything else. Life is about the management of energy. Where you place your attention is where you place your energy. We can mold and shape our brain by paying attention. If we can hold on to an idea, we begin to wire and shape our brain. The quantum field responds not to what we want, it responds to who we are being. You have to feel empowered, for your success to show up, you have to feel abundant, for your wealth to find you. You have to feel gratitude, to create the life that you want. We perceive reality, based on how our brain is wired. Your personality creates your personal reality. Your personality is made up of how you act, how you think and how you feel. Process of change requires you becoming conscious of your unconscious self. The process of change requires unlearning. It requires breaking the habit of the old self and reinventing a new self. That void, that place of uncertainty, that unknown, is the perfect place to create your ideal future. We cannot create a new future by holding onto the emotions of the past. Keep your mind clear. Master the next moment, and ultimately you'll master yourself. The moment you decide to not act the same way, think the same thoughts, and make the same choices, it's going to feel uncomfortable. You can't wait for your success to feel empowered. You can't wait for your wealth to feel abundant. You can't wait for your new relationship to feel love. You can't wait for your healing to feel whole. You are the person you have been waiting for. If you're not being defined by a vision of the future, then you're left with old memories of the past. When you move away from the victim mindset, you start becoming a creator in your world. We cannot create a new future by holding on to the emotions of the past. You can change your brain just by thinking differently. This is a time in history where it's not enough to know. This is a time in history to know how. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Where you place your attention is where you place your energy. As you become familiar with the thoughts, behaviors, and emotions of the old self, you're retiring that old self. If you focus on the known, you get the known. If you focus on the unknown, you create a possibility. If you want a new outcome, you will have to break the habit of being yourself and reinvent a new self. We learn the most about ourselves and others when we're uncomfortable. As long as you're thinking equal to your environment, you keep creating the same life. Taking the time to invest in yourself is to invest in a future. You can't wait for something outside of yourself 
to change how you feel inside of yourself. We are victims to anything that controls the way we think and the way we feel. Your thoughts are incredibly powerful, choose wisely. The universe only gives us what we think we're worthy of receiving. When you say, I am, you command your mind and body to destiny. Teach your body what your future is going to feel like before it manifests. If you install the hardware of gratitude in your brain by consciously practicing it, then you're going to start to think and act in that way. We don't need to win the race, the lottery, or the promotion before we experience the emotions of those events. You should always take some time at the end of your day and give thanks for your life. Thanks for watching. Which quote did you enjoy the most? Please share your opinion in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.